Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the app PTSD Coach. This is a great app for those looking for tools for life after trauma. When you open the app it takes you to this user agreement which you can scroll through and then accept. It will then show you the key values of what this app is for. First is to learn. Next is to track progress. You can also learn how to manage your symptoms or connect with support and resources that could help. When you get to the home screen, there should be four options that you can choose from. There is also a navigation tab at the top left that you can use to navigate the app. It has several options on it, so let's choose one. Let's first go to the how to use this app page. On this page you can find a list of details on how to use the app. These are tips that they suggest to use to get the most out of the app. Now let's go back to the navigation tab. You could also go to a page like the personalized page. So if we go to this page we can see that there are many options of how to personalize the app for yourself. You can add things like your favorite pictures, songs, or maybe even a contact to call for when you need support. Other options on this navigation bar are things like managing your data or details on their privacy policy plan or safety plan and many other details on things about the app. So let's go back to the home page and let's go to the manage symptoms page. Here you can find a list of symptoms that you can learn to manage. This page is helpful for those looking to learn more about their symptoms and find tools to help deal with those symptoms. Once you find a symptom you want to learn about or a tool you want to try out, simply click on the button and it will take you through a step-by-step -step explanation. When you find tools that you like, you can even add them to your Favorites tab and then use them later. You can do that by going to the Favorites tab and clicking Add a Favorite and then adding the tool. So let's try this out for an example. Let's say I click on the Angry button. It will then take me to a step-by-step -step explanation of what to do. First it is asking me my current level of distress. Let's say that I'm at about a 6. Then you click next and it will take you through the next part of the explanation. This exercise that they're going to show you is called leaves on a stream. It is a seven minute long explanation that Start will teach you how to calm down through your anger. Sit comfortably in a chair with your feet squarely on the floor. Sit with your posture firm but not rigid. Make sure your head feels centered over your shoulders and place your arms in a comfortable position at your sides or on your lap. We're not going to take you through the whole thing, but you get the point. Then once you click next, now it's going to ask your level of distress again. So let's say I went through the whole seven minute explanation, and now I'm down to about a three. Then it takes you to this last page telling you that your distress has decreased and what to do going forward. Now let's go back to the main menu. Now that we've seen manage symptoms, let's track our progress. On this page, you can either track PTSD symptoms, which will ask you to take an assessment. We are not going to do this for time's sake, but if you are using the app, I encourage you to take this. Or you can go to a PTSD screen, which is also another assessment that will ask you a series of questions. And based on your responses, it will give you answers. Now if we go back to the home page, let's go to the Learn tab. Here you can learn about three things. Let's first learn about PTSD. Here is a series of information for you to choose from to learn about PTSD, what it is, facts about it, and a lot more. This is probably one of the best parts about the app is how much information it does give you about PTSD and supports for it. So I encourage you to go through this list. I found a lot of information that I did not know and I find this to be really helpful. Now if we go back to the learn page, we can also learn about how to get professional help. So if we click on that tab, there is another list of information on how to get help. From things like I'm in crisis mode, to a treatment locator, to how do I find a counselor or therapist, or do I need professional help. Here you can find a list of things on getting help, which again is why I say this is very helpful because it offers you a lot of information about how to get support and where to find it. And again, for those who are new to this app, I encourage you to look through this as well. I think you will find a lot of helpful information. Now let's go to the last tab in the Learn page. 
which is PTSD in the family. So if we click on this tab, we can find another list of helpful information. And this one is different from the rest because it talks about PTSD and family. So here you can learn about talking to kids about PTSD, impact of PTSD on children, helping children cope, or maybe couples counseling or family therapy, or maybe if it's with a relationship with a significant other, it's reconnecting with your partner. There is a lot of information in this page that can tell you about how PTSD and family work. So now we're back at the home page and let's look at the last page which is get support. Here we can find a list of resource options that the app gives you. First, let's start off with the crisis resources. Here is a list of numbers that you can call if you are feeling in crisis, such as the domestic violence hotline, the sexual assault hotline, or even 911. The next page is professional care, which this gives you a list of resources to help call or find professional care. I find this list very helpful because of not only the resources it has, but how many it has to choose from. If you are looking for professional help, this is a very lengthy list that has a lot of options that you can look at, and it has a lot of options for different types of care as well. And I should have mentioned at the beginning that this app was made by veterans, so there are options in this professional care for veterans as well. And I'd just like to point out that they really did go in depth with what they thought about for options for resources. I mean, even at the top, they have the National Center for PTSD's website. They also have a locator that can help you find local care or a locator to help you find behavioral health treatment services. So when really looking through this list, I think you will find things that can help if you are in need of them. And I think that's why this list is very helpful because it just goes very in depth. So that's PTSD Coach. I think this app is helpful for those looking for tools for life after trauma. For those who are interested in this app, it is free on the App Store to download. And I encourage you to try it out. But for now, that's all. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.